So I think it's one of those things that you just kind of have to rip the band-aid and go for it. Definitely don't think that it's cheaper or easier than a normal lifestyle. It, it's just as hard, if not harder. It's a commitment. I'm Ray. And I'm Trevor. And this is Wazabu. Just the inside of the rig. When you first come in, we've got our wood stove. It was really important to us to have a secondary heat source in case of an emergency. And we also built the truck specifically for Alaska. So we wanted to make sure we definitely had an extra heat source. Trevor made this from a old propane tank and he just welded it together the way he does and made a little cool stove. The floors have epoxy resin in them. Trevor chose a uh, Spanish red cedar which is gorgeous. And then he added this green epoxy in all of the cracks. This is also one of my absolute favorite parts of the build is this chair that Trevor installed so that when we're parked, especially at a place like the beach and we just have the door open, just basically sit in here all day. It's the best. Um, up here we have extra storage. This is where we store kind of all of our camera equipment and office stuff for work. And then we've got all of our dry food storage and then extra like blankets and towels are back there as well. This is the kitchen. All of the countertops are made out of uh, reclaimed mahogany. We've got an oven and a three burner stove. It was super important to us to have a lot of storage on this one. So we were very intentional about where we put everything. Our refrigerator is on this slide out. We've got fridge and freezer. And then all of this is extra storage, of course. And then we've got like our plates and coffee and more dry storage and food up there. And then down here is our water tanks, trash, and just extra storage. It was really important to us to do the water tanks and plumbing on the inside so that when we go to Alaska, nothing freezes and we can be self-sustainable without any problems. So what got us into van life, ultimately, uh, we first met, I was riding dirt bikes a lot and I wanted her to come to different races and That's I wanted cool. to rebuild a pickup truck and then I rebuilt a bus for my boss. And I was like, pickup truck, definitely not. And the school bus was a great idea. Yep. But then we landed on something entirely yep. different. Because I didn't want a school bus. Yeah, we just wanted to get out of Virginia and you know do our own kind of thing. And we just wanted the freedom aspect of yeah. being able to go anywhere, do anything, because we knew we didn't want to stay in Virginia, but we didn't know where we wanted to go. Up here we have our queen size bed. We've got a TV on a swivel. And then on the side of the bed, there's a small closet where I have all of my hanging clothes. We've got our skylight above the bed, which is great when we're parked in the desert and there's like a million stars outside. It's one of my favorite features. We've got our uh, split unit above the bed. All of that runs off of the solar panels on the roof. That's our AC and heat. Because of the solar panels that we have, we're able to run AC around the clock, which is great because our bulldog is allergic to heat. Down here is more storage. We've got um, more of my clothes here. All of Trevor's clothes are in this bench. This is Lewis's toy chest. And then this is the bathroom. We have a compost toilet, and then we made the whole room just waterproof, watertight, so that we can just close the door and take a shower without having to use a curtain or anything. Trevor installed uh, colored lights in both ceilings so we can change the colors. It feels like a tree house at night, it's pretty cool. How do we make a living on the road? I got a sugar mom. We make a living on the road. I have a few different clients that I do marketing for, and I basically just run their websites and social media, and it's about five accounts, and it's enough to keep us on the road and doing what we love. Our favorite aspect of living on the road is a very long list, but if I had to choose one, I would say the freedom it allows us uh, to basically do whatever we want, go wherever we want. Um, it gives us more control over our finances, more control over our relationship. Yeah, just being able to, the ability to step away like physically from things that aren't good for us and step into things that give us life.
All right, so this is a 2008 GMC C7500 uh, and its previous life before we got a hold of it. It was a snow plow out of Maryland that we converted. So a simple dump truck, kind of short, big snow plow up front. Uh, thankfully, it was 90% um, already converted to four wheel drive, which made our life a lot easier. It was also the reason why we picked this truck. Um, it's got the Caterpillar 3126 mechanical and electrical motor, which has a Huey system. So for those of you who know about that, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but we're keeping an eye on it as best we can. Custom front bumper on the front, just cause bumpers are cool, why not? And then I got 44,500 lumens on the roof. Standard propane storage for us. Underneath here, I have two tanks. One's dedicated just to cooking. The other one's dedicated just to hot water. This tank is still completely full. That's our hot water. This is our cooking and I'm just above half. We've been on the road for four months now. So we're doing pretty good there. Uh, we do have a mini split on the back. Having a mini split, a split uh, AC unit slowly ramp up and slowly ramp down really just keeps our electrical components not from skyrocketing and completely fracturing our batteries. So you'll notice that. But this is our electrical cabinet. All of our 1,850 watts of solar come trickling down into here. We got 600 uh, amp hours. They're all, uh, what are they, Discover batteries. It's the 200 amp hour batteries. That was not cheap, but there was a couple of things we, we absolutely had to have, and one was a kick-ass solar system. So we're pretty just thrilled about that. Uh, Arizona Wind and Solar, they're the guys who designed it. I just put it together. Right here is all my electrical stuff. This is my backup generator, extensions, extra wood, extra oil for the truck, stuff like that. It's just ultimately storage, but because it's so closely linked, I did put uh, an automatic transfer switch in there so I don't even have to remove the generator anymore, which that part's really nice and just kind of makes things flow really nicely. Uh, and these stairs, these stairs are really cool. They completely tow underneath out of the way. So I don't have to worry about it. We don't have to, you know, lift a 150 pound piece of stairs or have some cheap thing that just kind of falls off and it's hard to get groceries in and out. So this guy is super friggin' simple and really stinking cool. So we've been living here for a couple of days with all of our good friends, but this is my garage where we keep our motorcycle and everybody's been using it a little bit here and there. Also part of the lifestyle. But I got all my welding gear, chainsaw, firework gear, obviously all the tools and all that kind of stuff. This is also where we house our motorcycle, all our extra fresh water and extra food and extra parts and stuff like that where you need to just kind of stay on the road as much as you can. My best advice for people wanting to do this lifestyle is probably not to take advice, <laughs> is to just go for it and see how it goes for you because I think it's different for everyone. I think a lot of people gave us a lot of advice when we got on the road and people still give us advice, but I've learned that what works for us does not work for other people and vice versa. So I think it's one of those things that you just kind of have to rip the band-aid and go for it. Um, and don't, also, don't overthink it. Also be ready to turn a wrench. Yeah, definitely. You're gonna be working on your own stuff. Yes, and do definitely don't think that it's cheaper or easier than a normal lifestyle. It, it's just as hard, if not harder. It's a commitment. If you care about seeing the real side of road life, you can follow us at Wazamu Life on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all social media platforms. We are very honest road people. We talk about all of our breakdowns and everything in between. And I don't know what I'm talking about, but Trevor is a wealth of knowledge with the lifestyle and fixing things. So Sometimes. he's also super handy for questions and I do a lot of marketing. So if you have any questions or just want to reach out and say hi, wasmulife.com or at wasmulife. Thanks for watching.